I could never understand what had triggered you from being a kind of normal, healthy 17-year-old to lose so much weight so quickly. I couldn't understand what was going through your mind. I think I always had this underlying depression, this underlying low, where I always felt like I wasn't good enough. <laughs> the only way I felt like I could show the world that I wasn't OK was by controlling my eating, by losing weight, by having this, like, one thing that I could control. And anorexia was a way of me showing that I wasn't OK. I couldn't, I couldn't even come to terms with how to stop it or how to help you. It was like you were completely determined to, to kill yourself. And I can remember at one stage saying, Look, if you want to go ahead and starve yourself to death, you go ahead. I obviously didn't mean it, but I was so helpless. Yeah, I'll always remember you saying that to me. I'll always remember thinking then that it wasn't just me that this was affecting, it was everyone. When I did start opening up to you and everyone else around me, I decided I really wanted to get better. I wanted to live a life where I felt worthy of living. Thank God you did. Because from my point of view, it was realising that it was a serious mental health issue and that we had to treat it as a serious mental health issue. And that's why now we are talking about it. But I didn't. I got it badly wrong. We got it badly wrong. But then I, I don't know how people would know how to deal with that. If you're watching your daughter waste away, how can you deal with that? And I can remember at one stage, someone explained to you, you have three choices. Yeah, so I was a nurse in the NHS unit that I was in who said to me, you just have to do this. You have three choices. You either die from this, you live the life you're living now with this half person, or... You get better. You get better. And it sort of jogged the memory of the fact that there had been a Maddie before anorexia and that there could be a Maddie after anorexia. And it was that, that image that it was possible to live without a mental illness that really helped me power through. I feel like finally being able to open up to you has made our relationship so much stronger because I'm now living a happy, healthy life. I'm at university and I can talk to you about everything, probably too much, but I feel like we've kind of reached a point where our relationship is strong and we're happy. And We do talk much more and we have a much better relationship. It's just a shame we had to go through that ghastliness. I can say now that we are through this and there is hope for anyone suffering with any mental illness.